coming off a list Frank injury late last year. Lou Fowl, designed quarterback run, lost the football in the end zone. It is picked up, I believe, by Colorado State. But that pile in the end zone will be sorted out by this officiating crew. Who's got the ball, and it looks like Colorado's got it at the bottom of the pile. Kevin Davis forced the fumble, it came out loose, and the Buffaloes have the lead. Already nine plays in CSU territory. CSU only has six plays total on offense. Swing it out to yep, Devin Ross. And Devin Ross speeding into the end zone for another Colorado touchdown. And the Buffaloes off to a good start. We'll take a shot and separation for Shea Fields. This will be reviewed. Did he break the plane? The runner was down, knee down, short of the goal line by half a yard. And they'll give it to Lindsay. He cruises in for a Colorado touchdown. Devin Ross already a touchdown in this game. Penalty marker comes flying in as Lou Fowl will take a shot downfield. And it is held in by Bryce Bama. What a one-handed catch. Remember that for your highlight show tonight. First and goal. Lindsey breaks a tackle. Touchdown, Colorado. They need eight yards to the Rams to stay on the field on fourth down. Lofted down the middle of the field, and it is picked up by Tedrick Thompson. Seventh career interception for the senior out of Valencia, California. Next week, getting a set for the second Saturday of the season. But Tone Bauta gets dragged down by a Wuzier. This is what Bauta can add. But Tone Bauta has done some solid things on this drive. With pressure, he fires, and there goes the shutout. Get a smile about for the Rams and Marcus Wilson. We know we can throw it, but you're going to have to run it to win the big or the back 12. Big hole for Kyle Evans. And Evans works all the way inside the five yard line. Unless they give it to him one or two more times. Here is Evans leaping for the end zone for a touchdown. 88th edition of the Rocky Mountain Showdown belongs to Colorado in blowout fashion.